this uh, machine right here. Take a look at that machine. This thing's massive. It's probably three to four stories tall. But this thing is a test of that. There is no historical marker here at all for this. This represents a couple years of manufacturing to produce. And it is, I know what it is, but there's no historical marker historical marker here to tell anybody else what it is and this more than anything demonstrates the utter cluelessness and self-absorption of society anymore this is an absolute industrial work of art this thing powered things that built this city and built the country but yet if you ask 99% of the people that passed they wouldn't have any clue what it is and if there was a marker here they wouldn't have any interest in reading it anyways it's a steam engine and it's the biggest damn thing I've ever seen in the way of a steam engine. It's got to be hundreds, if not thousands, of horsepower. It would have originally been powered by a coal-fired boiler. It would have been the size of a small building. It is absolutely massive. The flywheels are so big that they couldn't be cast in one piece. They're two-piece flywheels held together with keys. It is absolutely incredible. There's a wheel up here to control the flow of steam in and out of the cylinder. And the two guys that worked on it probably retire, end up retiring out of the mill. It's likely in a mill at some point. Took a stinger and welded their names, Bill and Roy, in that wheel up there. And the governor, with the balls above it that swing out when the machine runs too fast and re reduces the flow of steam, come back in again, slows the machine down. This is an absolute, massive, colossal work of industrial art here. And it's a damn shame that there's no marker signifying it. And society is so self-absorbed and unappreciative that they don't understand even what it is or what it did.